He ordered a wife from Russia. You bought a woman? She's my fiancé. Was my fiancé. Well, where is she now? In some kind of shelter? She's singing Russian folk ballads at the High and Dry trailer park. She was planning on locking her away in the woods where nobody would know about her. Or hear her scream. What were you going to do with her, Peter? Protect her! That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to protect your wife and keep her safe and make sure she doesn't die. Peter, she had cancer. You should have kept her safe. Safe from carcinogens, safe from power lines and microwaves. If you loved her more, you would have kept her safe. If he loved her like I love you. Okay, that's my other problem. P Peter, you're 12 years old. You don't love this woman. How would you know? You don't know how to love. That's what's wrong with you. He's a wuss. Just like your boyfriend. If you want to slap him, I'll totally look the other way. I'll show you how to love. I'm Jay. Where's Eric? I need to talk to him about our son. I thought he was with you. Me? Why would he be with me? We're not a couple. Then why would you have a son? And are you referring to that freaky kid Eric just left with? He was here? Uh-huh. Came in, said something about you and the cabin, and then they both ran out of here. Not that I was eavesdropping. Well, not very successful anyway. Oh, my God. Psycho boy cabin! The kid's probably got a shrine up there with Eric's picture and a bullseye or something. Damn. And since when do you need keys to start a car that doesn't belong to you? Ooh. Good point. Where is she? Inside, I told you. She's inside. Hey, hey, but you can't just go rushing in there. You're gonna spook her. Why is she even up here? I told you. She's under the impression that you assaulted me. Right, because you told her that. Yes, yes, whatever. Anyway, she came up here to beg me not to press charges. And that's when she hit her head? She did that when she passed out. I thought she was trying to scare me because, you know, how women are, but she seemed pretty upset. I tried to call a doctor. She wouldn't let me. She said she'd only talk to you. Only you. She only wanted you. Okay. Jay? Do you want me to kick your ass? Because I can. I can do that if you'd like. Um. I'd rather this not spiral into a whole physical thing, so I'll respectfully decline your offer to kick my ass. How long did you know? The whole time. Damn. Even if you got rid of me, you'd still be left with the biggest obstacle to Jay's heart. What's that? Jay. I can't stop thinking about her. There's nothing wrong with that. It's normal. Really? Yeah. Why does it have to hurt so bad? Because you love her, but you know it's impossible to be with her. I think I'll ever forget her. She's your mother. She'll always be a part of you. Sorry I tried to steal your woman. Jay's not my woman. She's not? Uh-uh. Oh. Think I still have a shot? Actually, by the time you're old enough to date, she might be ready to stop running. So maybe you do. What's she running from? I don't know. Take a smarter man than me to answer that. I'm smarter than you. And I can't solve the riddle that is Jay. She is a riddle. She's the most mysterious girl I've ever known. She's an enigma. She's a conundrum. She's a ten million piece sky puzzle. She's a lifetime of New York Times Sunday crosswords. She's a Rubik's Cube. She's here. In my car. Okay, so would one of you please tell me why someone isn't dead or injured? Say, for instance, him. I risked my life and your car to rush out here. And may I say, Jeopardy puts a lovely blush in your cheek. Shut up. Get me a soda. Okay. Hi. Hi. 
so. You came to rescue me. I guess I kind of did. Thanks, but he is only a kid. Yeah. Well, I guess I was trying to rescue you from me. I'm the one who let him get away. I don't think I need to be rescued from you. In fact, I think... You know what? Maybe this isn't really a conversation we should be having right now. Oh, this isn't going to be a conversation. It's actually going to be a speech by me. I had some time to think during my abduction, and here's the thing. I don't know what your issues are or what happened to you to make you the way you are, but you're clearly not ready for a relationship. Frankly, I think with you, any sort of human interaction is pretty iffy. And that's not a criticism, because God knows you saw what happened to me back in that chapel. I'm damaged, and it's going to take me time to heal. Probably longer than I can guess. Which is why I think we should absolutely have a date. What? You know, a, a date. I know what a date is. You're not talking about the fruit, are you? I just feel like there's something here. A spark or chemistry or something. And we should explore that. But the issues and the damage. You weren't wrong about any of that. In fact, you don't even know the half of it. Forget about your damage. I'm quite possibly certifiable. Why would you want to get involved with anything potentially as messy and complicated as, well, me? Because you make me happy. You know when you have like that first date and there's all that tension because you've never kissed before? Well, now we can just go out and it can be tension free. I, uh, I, I still have tension. So, I guess you worked out your differences. We didn't have any differences. Congratulations to the victor. I'm gracious enough to admit that the better man has won the girl. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Hey.